I've had trouble picking a favorite javelin. We really wanted them to have a different feel. There's a lot of freedom in how you load out these javelins. That's really what this is about, is being able to let you design a superhero. And you can literally sit there for hours, tweaking everything and getting it just right. How are we going to achieve this? So really that's in the, the devil of the design details. a lot of RPGs, as you might imagine. And one of the things that's always been kind of uh, a love-hate relationship for me is exploring each character archetype. And maybe you choose uh, a certain character type and you play it for a couple of hours and you decide, oh man, this isn't really what I was expecting or hoping, or it's not, I'm just not feeling it right now. So you restart the campaign and uh, you, know, you try again and you rinse and repeat that until you find that one class that, that's just what you were looking for. The versatility in being able to switch javelins and own an array of these cool exosuits allows you to switch on the, on the fly as your mood dictates or as the mission dictates. Like that's really what this is about, is being able to let you design a superhero that you can then inhabit and then set that aside and try something different without having to restart the game, without with continuing your journey through the space. So starting from a base of uh, just kind of classic RPG character archetypes. We started to think about these Javelin exosuits and what would make a cool hero, what would make a cool character. And then we started just kind of fleshing those, those avatars out. Well, who would be the fighter? Well, that's gonna be the ranger. been there since the beginning. It's the one that we built up from. The first one is the hardest to do. You're trying to solve all the problems of the game at the same time you're trying to solve what the Ranger specifically does. The Ranger had to feel very capable. It's the suit that you want to take out when you don't know what kind of trouble you're going to get into. Or the favorite thing that I like about the Ranger is really its versatility. Easy to pick up, maybe hard to master, but, but it's, it's, uh, it's easy to understand. It can do a lot of different things, it can fill different roles. It's more of the commando who you know straps on all its uh, uh, gear and gets its weapons and runs out into the battlefield. And the ultimate's just so kick-ass, like the stream of missiles. Spark Beam is one of the ones on the Ranger. It's my favorite one. From your wrist, you shoot out a straight beam of energy. That feels very much in line with the precision and agility that, that the Ranger offers. You know that if you've got a Ranger suit on, you can deal with the situation, you can help out the team. The other guys are specialists, but this is the guy that will get the job done no matter what. Who's gonna be kind of the, the barbarian or the cleric? Well, that's going to be the Colossus, that's the heavy. It represents sort of the first kind of javelin that, that humanity built, but it's, it's slower, but it's more heavily armored. Damn, looking good. It kind of feel, can kind of fill the role of tank, uh, but it can also dish out a lot of damage. You don't mean tank like a warrior in an RPG that has a shield and tanks. Now he has a shield, but he's not that same archetype. And so we did describe him more like an M1 Abrams tank, like an actual tank from the real world, you know, like slow moving, but if you get there, the firepower packs a punch that's devastating. You know, even up close and personal, you can be destructive in a real tank because you can run everything over. We knew that for the Colossus, it had to feel heavy, it couldn't just look heavy. And so getting it just right from the, the way that its footsteps work to how it, the controller rumbles to its sound design and the types of weapons and gear pieces that you can mount to it, all of that had to feel just right. The mortar is probably its, its signature thing, you know, the, the weight and the uh, movement of the animations when you see the mortar go off, it's this huge thing on your shoulder. It's clearly too big and heavy for any of the other suits. Like, I think that fits, fits it perfectly. My favorite ability is the Super Smash, where you just punch the ground and all the enemies in front of you just fly out and you're knocked over. It, it feels very gratifying. 
I really like taking the, uh, the electric Tesla ability, which means like, basically anything that comes near me is gonna get electrocuted as well. And then I'll pick a flamethrower up as well, so that I can like combo off myself. Uh, but it also means that when I'm playing with buddies, uh, I'm just walking set up for other people to combo off me, and I'm taking a lot of the heat off them. So it's, it's really about a teamwork setup. If you want to be the Colossus, but you're also kind of that guy who likes to uh, be a healer maybe in, in MMOs, then you can build your Colossus in a way that really allows you to do that really well. So that versatility, that freedom is super powerful and that's something we wanted to give our players as a, as a means to unlock uh, their own expression, their, their own desire and how they wanted to approach it. I like all the javelins and I think the different javelins are better for different missions. The storm's probably the most tactical. And the interceptor is the most nimble, most quick. The smoke bomb zipping around in the back lines. Oh, it's it's great. <laughs> it's just it's power overwhelming.